Welcome back, everyone. It is day 37, 9 37 a.m. here in the Sims 4 Big Brother UK All Stars house. And as you can see, we have a ton of naked house guests. Looks as though Cameron, Brian, Pete, and Craig are all naked. Uh, so is Emma Willis. She looks like the only girl that's naked, and then like most of the guys in the house are naked. So I don't really know what's going on there or why. I'm not too sure if they had woohooed before I turned the camera on or if they were nude sunbathing outside because the weather is actually pretty nice right now. It's pretty sunny and hopefully we'll stay that way going forward except the weather has been pretty bipolar so far so we'll see how that goes. It looks as though Craig is doing some naked sit-ups. Meanwhile, Charlie is inside avoiding going out in the sunlight. Yesterday she sunbathed for a little bit too long and is now burnt to a crisp so she's like kind of hiding from everyone in the bedroom. Meanwhile, the bathroom is, of course, pretty busy um, as a few of the naked house guests start to get ready for the day um, and others are cleaning up the area and fixing toilets and sinks. Meanwhile, our other two naked house guests, Cameron and Emma, are, I think, showering or at least standing awkwardly close together in the shower. At 11.09 a.m., a lot of the house guests are still kind of doing their daily routines. No one's really done too many things that are pretty exciting. Um, so Big Brother just goes ahead and calls all of the Ministry of Truth members into room 101 to start their shift for the day. So Brian, Isabel, and Emma head on over there. Um, and of course, Emma and Brian are still naked, with Isabel being the only one that has clothes on, and it's still her pajamas. Um, but whilst inside the uh, room 101, as we know, things have gotten a little bit frisky, so it's nothing that uh, Isabel hasn't seen before from the two of them. It looks as though Emma gets right onto the onto the computer. Meanwhile, Brian kind of goes to the bathroom uh, and drinks some water. Um, however, they are not the only naked house guests still in the house. We see that Craig is doing some naked vacuuming in the kitchen, of all places. And outside, it looks as though Makosi, Davina, and Luke are having a nice little conversation while doing the laundry. Um, it looks as though they just hung up some new clothes, and the laundry area is available for them in the storage room again um, to do the washer and dryer. But honestly, since it was locked away for so long... I don't know, they are always kind of avoiding it <laughs> after so many fires and everything. They just kind of don't really do it. They just kind of just stick to the outdoor washer and dryer. Um, Allison has spent her entire morning fixing everything in the bathroom. So if there's ever another handiness challenge, uh, I think she might be competition for Craig finally. Uh, he's still naked, but he is done cleaning and he's kind of outside lying around on the sunbathers talking to Josie and Davina. Um, um, before he does eventually get up and head inside. It looks as though Luke is sleeping in the hot tub, but that's kind of his number one activity so far. You would almost think he's a Ministry of Peace member by how often he is sleeping in this hot tub. Uh, in the bathroom, it's a bit chaotic as most of the house guests are in there and no one's even really using the bathroom. Instead, they're using it just to kind of sit around and talk. I don't know if it's because a lot of people are close to Gemma and Cameron and they are in the Ministry of Peace. Therefore, they're only really able to go into the bathroom or the garden so everyone's just kind of going in there to solely talk to them since they're not really using anything that's in the room i find that a bit strange um allison though has fixed everything in the bathroom and she seems to be pretty proud of herself about it meanwhile craig finally puts on some clothes in order to do laundry of all things I don't know, like, are those underwear clean? Do you not need to wash those too? I just find it weird that you put on clothes to wash clothes, but whatever. The rules of nakedness in this house don't really make too much sense. And uh, there seems to be a really long shadow uh, across the garden, so Charlie is finally able to step outside and not irritate her skin uh, any further. Meanwhile, in room 101, uh, Emma and Brian are still opting to go clothesless. However, they are all deciding to pitch in, all help each other, and they are all fixing and cleaning room 101 to make it a little bit of a better environment. Okay, 
It is 8.04 p.m. in the Big Brother house, and as you guys are aware, when we did declare all of our ministries, we of course had to go ahead and declare a new big boss, and that was Pete, as he had the most simoleons. And of course, you can check all of the big bucks down below. All of their inquiries are listed in the description. Uh, and because Pete was big boss, he got the opportunity to invite his closest friends uh, to go into the lab, that way they can access the garden and play a game of bowling. So he was closest to Makosi, Cameron, and Emma. However, I did totally forget that Emma Willis is now pregnant with Brian's baby. Kind of forgot all about that. Um, <laughs> and she now has started to show, which is at least a little bit helpful, but I did not know as well that pregnant women cannot bowl. Um, so therefore, uh, Pete did have to go ahead and replace her. However, I still let Emma just kind of hang out and sit on the couch and watch everything since she still got picked originally. Um, however, she was then replaced with Allison, who is slowly making her way outside. She kind of got stuck in room 101 there for a bit. We see that Pete and Mikosi are playing a game against each other, while Allison and Cameron are playing alongside them. Now, whoever wins the match will get an additional 10 big bucks added to their inquiries. Um, so it looks as though Pete has started. However, it took him a few tries to even get the ball down the lane. Meanwhile, at least Mikosi is able to do it on her first try. Allison is the first one to step up to her lane and swing. And Pete uh, is finally able to get that as well. However, not as successful as Allison. Now, me personally, I am not that good at bowling. Um, and I think it's funny that only like one person in each pair actually wore bowling shoes. That being Makosi putting the shoes on and Cameron. Meanwhile, I mean, at least Pete has sneakers on. Allison is just full on wearing night slippers. So uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know that much about bowling. I don't know logistically what that does for your game, but I'm guessing it makes you slip a lot more, I would assume. Um, so we'll see if that helps her or hinders her. I'm honestly not too sure. Um, also, with it being bowling, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to follow. I picked it because it was an easy game that looked really cool, and I went ahead and decorated the lab and everything. Um, again, I am having issues with uploading my house onto the gallery. Every time I try to upload this house, it says that the file is too large to go into the gallery. And I'm kind of assuming that that has to do with the CC that's in the house. And a majority of the CC, if not all of it, is located in the lab area which ironically or whatever is the reason why I didn't post it onto the gallery to begin with because I didn't want to spoil the lab and now the lab is preventing me from posting it onto the gallery I think so I might have to remove all of it I don't know if any of you guys have any suggestions on that please let me know down below in the comments and again I am sorry for the delay on uploading these onto the gallery uh, same with a lot of the house guests um, that's kind of been troublesome but I will upload them as soon as I can as well um, thanks it's just been a bit hectic for me in between filming this and editing it and posting it and also doing schoolwork. It's really easy to forget. That being said, I haven't really followed along with the game so far, so I don't really know particularly who is in the lead. However, as time passes, they are kind of... Mm, I wouldn't say getting better. They're very, like, off and on. We see that a few of them have gotten gutter balls while uh, they'll randomly get a pretty high score out of nowhere. Um, me, personally, I can't bowl without kind of like those bumpers on there or else every single ball I roll would be a gutter ball. Um, but they are kind of slowly getting the hang of it. Again, a very off and on performance. They go from doing uh, increasingly better to then just 
continuously getting gutter balls, which I guess is pretty relatable. Uh, none of them have had any bowling skills required before, so this is all their first time, and we see that both Pete and Allison completely fail at this attempt, leaving Allison even on the floor, which is, I'm guessing, going to happen a lot with those slippers. <laughs> Also, like, thinking in real-life terms, I didn't really get why a pregnant woman wouldn't be able to bowl. That didn't really make that much sense to me. However, watching this game of bowling and the amount of times that these house guests land on their back and on their stomachs and how much they're actually getting hurt by this game definitely makes sense why a pregnant sim wouldn't be able to bowl. Because, I don't know, all of these house guests are walking away with some bruises after this game. And it's honestly a super long one. I picked the 10 rounder because... I don't know, it sounded the best. However, I didn't realize it would take them literally all night to do so. Um, to the point now that the sun is slowly coming up, and like all the pretty lights I had, all the rainbow lights I put to decorate the place are now turned off, which definitely ruined my plans a little bit. So I am now regretting picking the 10 rounder, and also it's just a lot of bowling footage I have to go through. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought about, like, putting a nice little fun song and maybe doing a little bit of a fun montage of bowling, but I still didn't know how to do that successfully. Um, however, it looks as though Allison finally got one super successful roll down the the lane as it catches on fire and lights all the pins on fire. Meanwhile, Mikosi is completely falling on her face. I love the juxtaposition of them being beside each other, one being at their ultimate peak and then Mikosi being at her ultimate low. I gotta say, I think that one score by Allison has to be the best one so far, so I wouldn't be too surprised if she has a pretty good score going forward. Mesoplim. Oh, dolphin. Ah. Ah. Shesheray Benro. <gasps> All right, and the scores are in, and all of the house guests are actually soaking wet from it being raining the entire time they were out there. However, Pete has won his round of bowling, giving him an additional 10 big bucks to his bank inquiries. And then with the Allison versus Cameron match, of course, Allison won the match. She did a really amazing job and kind of beat everyone. I kind of want to give her an additional, like, five small However, I'm going to stick to our rules, and she is going to receive an extra 10 big bucks added to her bank account. So again, you can check down below for all of that. Also, while you're down there, you can find my Twitter and everything like that, because again, we have an eviction tomorrow that's going to take place, where two house guests are going to go home. As you know, up for eviction, we have Davina, Nadia, Craig, and Ryland. Two of them are going to go home, and it's up to you to save your favorite. You can comment down below as many times as you want for whatever house guest you want, or head over to my Twitter where there is a poll posted, and you can vote on there. The voting will end tonight, so make sure you get your vote in now, and tune in tomorrow for the eviction. I'll see you then. Bye.